Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Pat Legendless Forest from Set Productions, and you can call me Seth Jess. So, uh, it's been two weeks since I, I uploaded the video. I'm sorry, I've been busy for a while, so I apologize. So, today, we're going to do some realistic fire effect, something like this, although I mess up with the sound effect, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, a, real, a realistic flame effect. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First, you're gonna close After Effects. Now I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Open After Effects. Make a new composition. I'll stick with my old settings: 120, 720, square pixels. Lock, aspect radio. Chatter fast, chatter Or you could do a fit 59.97 frames per second if if you are if your clip was shot at at um, 60 frames per second some crap like that okay hit okay then what we're gonna do is go to import file make uh find our clip there's my clip okay since i'm gonna repeat again my camera doesn't shoot at full 180 by 720 so I, I mean 1280 by 720 so I'm just gonna drag the corner oh sorry drag the corners while holding shift and there so it will fit on it will fit on the screen just gonna zoom in and trim properly around here I'm gonna hit um, B and then where where we want to end it around here and then I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit N and then go to composition trim to come work area so just shorten uh let's wreck okay after that we're gonna right click on this can on this empty canvas and then go to new null object so we're just gonna rename this to tracker after that click your flame make sure you found you you, uh, you have this trackers uh, I don't know how to enable it um, I forgot but if I remember I'll write it in just down in the description below okay so once we've done that we've done that click on track motion um just move we want the flame to start around there okay just oh i'm sorry <laughs> uh, just drag drag over there okay make it a bit, a little bit larger yeah something like move it over there okay after that we're gonna hit this play button analyze forward and then let's just analyze it where it won't take too long clips too short uh, okay <laughs> okay so let's just wait a few more seconds till it's done oh yeah it's done okay then click apply the upload dimensions x and y hit okay so uh, after that, let's just close this for a little while, and then we're gonna make a new, make another c composition. One two eighty by seven twenty twenty nine point ninety seven for uh, same same old stuff, and then I'm going to import a uh, flame, a fl flame which came from Action Essentials, but don't worry, I won't leave you behind because. I'm gonna leave a download link be below. So uh, I'll just hit this and then hit this. Pen. Uh, let's just open here and then we're going to change the blend mode to add both of them. Oh, they're already changed. Okay, so uh, after that, um, uh, let's just. Uh, I don't know, make this a little bit more larger than it looks to make it more fierce 
in this one, two, oops, don't mm. Okay, let's just put it on something. Uh, so as you can see, they're a bit just like uh, around. They're like they're a bit sharp edge around the flame. Oh, well, actually, you could fix that. But wait, well, let's find it again. So uh, there's a bit sharpness on the edge at the down below. So uh, what we can do is wait. I'll just turn. I'll just turn this off. Let's see if the edge. Yeah, the edge is coming on this clip. So uh, what you can do, find the point or the edge, or the sharp edge. Uh, there. Okay. So just make sure you selected the clip and then go to ellipse tool, and then we're just gonna select the whole thing again, but around and there, and then. Oh, just gonna move a few. Uh, yeah. Okay. After that, make sure this the clip is still selected. And then you you wanna go and press F, and I'm just gonna feather it out. Yeah. So. And then like that so there's no sharpness anymore yeah okay let's turn that back on and then see what we got okay so i guess we have this awesome <laughs> not really awesome okay after that um click this um cl oh sorry click this clip while holding the shift is select select both of them and then go to a layer precompose or you could just do done it with control shift C and then after that and after that we're gonna select this pre comp let's go back to our original comp and then put it there so I'm just we're just going to change the blend mode to something like screen screen yeah screen okay what I'm gonna do so we're gonna parent it with the tracker. So if you don't have the parent, the parent uh, thingy like this, just press Shift F4. Okay, so that shift that's Shift F4. Then after that, you might wanna click this around there. Okay, so it moves with your hand. But we want it where you want start to appear so let's just move and just turn off that off you can find the point there around there let's just turn that on no timings move there all right we're just gonna move around here so we'll have something that looks like this so it already it already looks realistic enough but already looks realistic enough So uh, yeah, so that's the basics of it. Okay, so after we've done that, let me just move. So the only moves with the hand. So um, a lot of I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to make this flame thingy, but usually people stop to this point where 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 uh, just playing the flames now. 
which usually makes it look awful and looks unrealistic because there's no glow on the hand. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a glow on hand. So how can we do that? Can we do that well? Random person who I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, make a uh, right click, new, solid, and make that an orangey some orangey like that light orange and then hit ok comp size ok so we're just gonna turn it turn this off for a second and we're, go we're still going we're still going to uh, select the orange I'm just gonna turn up the button uh, the uh, prick ok so after that hit the pen tool make sure orange all is selected and make I'm sorry and make mass around his hand which usually I mean make a mass around his hand where the glow would be so mine's like that and we're gonna change that to uh, to uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry turn turn the uh, visibility on and then hit mm um change I'm gonna change this uh, I forgot just feather this out so yeah then uh change your blend mode to add I think oh crap I forgot um Oh yeah, we're gonna change the uh, opacity. Hit T on the orange solid, and we want it around 37%. So yeah, then we're gonna change. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna change the blend mode to screen, and then after that, make sure orange solid is still selected, and then go to effect. Stylize glow, uh, and we're gonna change the color channels to alpha channel, and then the glow threshold to 90%. Glow radius around uh, like experiment, and then the glow in around 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 71%, and the glow intensity around. Um, all the way to eight up to eight percent. So yeah. Also, we need to parent this to the tracker. Yeah. So looks something like that. Okay. So we're just gonna. Um, Okay, so let's just turn on the flame. Oh, you got something like this. Okay, after that, still orange solid selected. Press T, and then press Alt on the st little stopwatch. Alt click on up. Oh, sorry, Alt click on the stopwatch. Then I'm gonna type in wiggle. Ten comma ten. Okay, so it's just give the flickering effect. Also, we want to move it around where the wa where the fire starts. Okay, so pretty much you will have something like this. Oops, why does it move like that? Alright, I'm just gonna change the <laughs> the, uh, the the position of the glow. So, so position, yeah. So it will look something like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
all you need is now all you need is um, a cool sound effect to make it more realistic although I sucked at my sound effect so yeah so that's basically it make a realistic flame on your hand uh, yeah also if you uh, if you don't want you can well you can you can you can even not put the glow because I know it looks it looks a little bit more clean but you know you you want to make it more realistic so made a glow so you you need to make a glow to make it more realistic um yeah so this is pretty much it wow I'm just kidding also <laughs> yeah Alright, so that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and like this video, it really helped us, it inspired us, and I got nothing more, I got nothing else, <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for and for next week, or prob yeah, probably in this next week's After Effects, or it might be Photoshop tutorial. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Love ya.